Hey folks, my name is Rocky from the Media Stock. And today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of uh, 3D parallax effect which you can use for your any kind of project and take it into the next level. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, import your photo inside of Photoshop. So go to File, and click on this Open, and select and open any photo you want to edit. I'm gonna use this one. I click on this use embedded okay here it is double click on that and just unlock that layer cool now the first thing you need to do to separate the character in the background to do that you have to just first you need to duplicate this layer just call it to background and then duplicate by hitting control hold control and j so now we are going to work with this character layer we are going to cut out this character from the background to do that first i'm going to select this pen tool so first you need to click the first point and just start drawing this like that to drag the handle match up the curves remember if it's not perfect it doesn't matter just try to as good as possible and last you have to just join these two points at the end after that don't click anywhere just press and hold the control key on your keyboard and hit enter to make it a selection now just invert this selection to do that you can go to select and click on this inverse or the shortcut key is shift control and i so i'm pressing shift control and i it's inverting now it's selecting the background I'm gonna press the click button the character is separated don't deselect the selection right now just turn off the character and, and select this background and turn on this background layer now again inverse the layer this time you have to select this character and delete it so again control shift I am selecting the character now I have to match this portion as the background to do that you have to click this shortcut just press and hold the shift key and press f5 button on your keyboard this fill window will pop on your screen from here make sure it's selected the contents aware and the color adaption is checked everything is normal and opacity 100% and preserve transparency will be unchecked hit ok done so now you can deselect this uh, selection to do that press and hold the control key and press D to be select that now we need to clean this split and make this background a simple background so we can use it to do that we need to use this uh, clone stamp tool right here to clean the split just select it and make the brush size a little bit bigger okay. Select the soft rounded brush. Now all click on the clean portion of the background and just start painting on the rough areas. You can again go to other side and sample that area too and just paint it over. By this way you can clean the plate. Again, it need not to be so much clean because this portion will be guarded by this character. Cool, it's done. Now you can see the background is separated and the characters too. Now we can save this Photoshop project file on desktop or wherever you want. And we have to import this project file to After Effects. So right now I am inside of After Effects CC 2017 
uh, but you can use any version you like so click on this composition a new composition and name it whatever you like and then I'm just gonna name it to C4 resolution 1920 by 1080 full HD 30 frame per second and 260 frame per is duration at last hit ok now you need to import the photoshop file you have saved it right click click import and file and import that photoshop file and select it and make sure that its photoshop sequence is unchecked and import as composition hit import and after clicking on the import there will be an option in after effects you have to select its composition editable layers hit ok now you can see in this project window separate four composition has created the first one is the character and the second one is the background so we need to select both of this layer and hit copy ctrl c on your keyboard to copy that and come back to your main scene and select this timeline and paste paste it here by ctrl v as you can see this image is pretty large so we need to select both of this layer hit s on your keyboard and just scale this down a little bit and just drag it to the center now the first thing is uh, you need to create both of these layers to 3d so click on this toggle switch mode to bring back these options where you can find this 3d option you have to click on both of them to act, enable them as 3d layers here after enabling them to as 3d you have to create a camera so go to layer new and create a camera click on this camera and presets 35 millimeter is fine hit ok the camera is created now create a null object to control this camera so layer new uh, null object and just rename this null object as a cam controller also make this null object to 3d and just equip this camera to this null object now if you hit if you select this cam controller and hit p on a keyboard you can control the camera by this single null object or also you can rotate this as you want you don't have to click anything inside the camera but these layers are not renamed properly so let me rename that first one is the character and the second one is the background cool now the next step is to push the background layer to further back to uh, get this parallax effect to do that you have to select this background layer and from this active camera select the top view as you can see here the character and the background is on the same place here is our camera so select the background and Make sure the move tool is selected and, and just push it back into the Z axis. Like so. Come back to the active camera. Now you can see the background is a little smaller, which is obvious. It's pushed back to the background. So we need to scale it up. Select this background, hit S on the keyboard, and just scale it up large. Okay, and you can see the character is moving faster than the background I think we need to push that back layer to move back and scale up let's see now it's looking way more better now now we just need to get this camera animation here to do that just select this, click on the stopwatch button of the position and move the cursor a few seconds and, and move the camera Z position like so now you can see that two keyframes is created and, and the animation is happening pretty awesome now you can create a, a new adjustment here call it to CC and add a little curves effect, good effect, color correction, add a curves. I'll just give it a little contrast and to the blue channel 
I'm just gonna give a blue tint. Cool. Now in the original example, as you can see, there is a particle snow effect on top of it. So we are gonna create that here. So first we need to create a new solid. So layer new solid. I'm just gonna name it to particle. And resolution in its cell, hit OK. Now search particles in effects and presets panel and drag this CC particle world into this particle layer. Now solo this particle layer. Now the particles is pretty basic. We need to tweak little settings from here. So first open up this producer field and from here we need to increase this radius. We just spread them into the X, Y and Z position. And let's turn off this grid. We don't need that. Cool. Now open up these particles and change the particle type from line to fade sphere. And change the color to white. Cool. In the size, just decrease a bit the birth and death. Cool. Open up the physics tab and change the animation from explosive to cone axis. Right now you can see it's a little bit chaotic. That's because the gravity is too much here. So we need to decrease that like 0 0.05. And now you can use more or less 0 0.04. And the velocity make it 0.5 or make it 0.4. Okay. Let's increase the gravity a bit 0.05. Okay. I think we need to decrease the size of the particle a little bit more. So 1.100, 0.120. Now you can see the particles are going from bottom to top. So you can do one thing. You can just you can just click on this rotate tool and just rotate this the total particle layers. And you can see it's very fine. And last, just open up this uh, opacity map from the particles tab and just draw the line like this. Just make some spike here to get that sparkle effect. Okay. You select this particle layer and just push it to the left side and just increase the layer so that the particles can begin from the first frame of the timeline. Now unsolo the lay particle layer and as you can see it's working pretty fine. So that's it guys for this tutorial. I hope you like this tutorial and learn something new techniques from it. If you do please leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe. Till then I'll see you next time.